Howdy there, folks. Tex of the Black Pants Legion here, and welcome again to Battletech Advanced. We had a throwdown with some clanners, and uh, the Sentinel got broken again, and that's fine, because every time it breaks, I just fix it worse. Uh, it's missing a jump jet. Oh no. I don't have any more of those. That's crazy. And it's fine. It's good enough. They're just going to keep breaking this thing until I stop caring about it. But what is more important is I have parts of a fire moth I can scrap for money. And that's it. So, we're going to need to go down here and make some more money. But I have some fun things that I picked up from the clanners. Namely, ER medium lasers. And a few other things. But ER medium lasers are really nice. Clanner technology is very nice. Clanners are not very nice, but their technology is very nice. Some people don't understand why I don't like the clanners, and, well, typically, it's because back in the day, they'd fight you tonnage to tonnage, and with all the advantages known to man, they would then win and gloat at the table. Not very nice. But, that's why you have battle value, and when you start playing battle value stuff, and you start actually bringing, you know, Combined arms and composite forces where you have some light screening vehicles and some artillery and a few helos and some light max, medium max, and then just a few bare assaults. Well, you can just beat their ass and they get very salty about it. Because, you know, they got all the fancy pilots, all the fancy tech, so then you make them pay for it. That's where the game gets fun. Especially if you play a campaign and you slowly have campaign degradation of your mechs and machines and limited repairs and so on between battles. That is really neat stuff. Alright, so let's go down and try to make some money. Trap sprung. Yeah, let's do that one. Maximum salvage. I want to walk out of here with another war machine. I'll take the Irby. I have the two chaparrales. Good enough. Not the best war fighting group I've got, but it is the war fighting group I've got. <laughs> we'll make it work. As far as lore reasons to not like the clanners, caste system, which means from birth, it's like you're good enough to do this. One that is informed by largely genetics, so you're not genetically pure or good enough to be a X or a Y. That's kind of shitty. Sure, you can earn your place up and down, but it's rare. Typically, you stay where you stay. And sure, you can earn your place to be a warrior or something, but it takes a lot to do that. That and it all sprung from the mind of a crazy guy. Which, as a crazy guy, I suppose, makes it pot calling the kettle black here. But, yeah, it's kind of goofy. Then again, it's not an outright hate and hate. It's just more like a, eh, not for me. And that's why I like Battletech, because there's enough flavors, you know, of madness. Nobody's perfect. They're all fun. Command interface initiated. That guy's name is Bramble. Alright. DDoS still a little wounded, but I'm like, look, just hope, hope most of your brains... Stay in the patch and you'll be fine. Wow, already with the missiles. Looks like we're going to have ourselves a shootout in a box canyon, which is fine. It's like a western. Just have to make sure I'm the white cowboy hat in this one. Oh, they're coming down the pass at us. Alright, Urban Mac. Yeehaw, partner. Let's head up here. See where they coming from up here? Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. More missiles from back there. Fantastic. So, Bullard's armored cav, eh? Standing by. Location confirmed. All right, let's shoot back. Yeah, how's this feel? Not great, I bet. I bet it hurts. Good. Receiving you. I got chaparrales, so I'm just going to start letting Arrow Ford do my talking for me. I don't know where you are, but I'm going to guess there-ish. Yeah. Attention grid squares. 
Be gone. Ooh. What do you want? What do I want? I want that hunch to walk up there and do what a hunch does best. All right, looks like we got a... Looks like we got a big pile of fuck coming for us. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, there we go. The battle is joined. They got a guy out front screening us, which is a pain in our ass. Because you got some fellas up here doing their business. You got your scout here spotting, and all these people in the back can just make our lives miserable. Which is where we need to get up here and hurt them. Ooh, good hint. Good hit, Irby. You're going to get a scoop of ice cream when we get back to the base. Maybe even some pecan pie. Fine and dandy like cotton candy. I'm receiving you. Irby. Fire it. Oh, yeah. That's a good hit, too. Should. Just have to hope this a-hole, like, falls down the mountain and doesn't get shots on us. Hope. Yes, I use the H word. Hope is a very perilous thing. Good lord. Less missiles immediately. All right, here we go. What do we got? Are we okay, Irby? I believe in you. I rarely say this. Roger. Roger. Right, there we go. He's stressed. Excellent. Let's hope this doesn't turn into a clusterfuck as they all roll up. This could be point blank nasty, which is why I'm glad I have a hunchback. I wish I had more of them. Okay, a chameleon. Not bad. Looks like a uh, large laser chameleon, just by that sound. We got another guy behind him. Which is fine, I can start splashing arrow 4 on him. I'm going to move back to a little bit of cover on the mountain here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Care Bear Stare. Goodbye. Ooh, and them pieces go flying. They're going to fit you in a tiny coffee can. Alright, now we're going to move up with the chaparrales, and I'm going to do some... Oh, they got a hunter. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to shoot the chameleon, because that's who I can see. And I'm going to put splashes to the guy behind him. Order. That is the hope with artillery. Try to get as many, many guys in that template as possible. Hope that circular error probable encompasses multiple people. I'm going to try to shave their armor off by the time they get into range. Artillery and Battletech is great. Oh my god, look at that. That's a lot of ow. We need to start, uh, you know what? No, we're going in. Hunchback goes in. Hunchback does not fall back. The only problem is this person back here worries me. Getting rear shots on my boys. Oh, it's a galleon. Yeah, kind of light on that. I can just move out of his range. Oh, wow. Oh. Darius is calculated. Uh-huh. Wow. That's not a lot of money. Yeah, let's... <laughs> That's a lot of zeros. Yes, Commander. They don't have the rating of loyalty. Doesn't look like the bribe worked. Maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like it worked. Damn. Or did it? Yeah, I don't see him on the radar anymore. Wonder if it up updates my objectives. Alright, let's see. Let's keep shooting. Yes, you did. Stinger? Alright, that's not that terrifying. Q. 
keep popping on that chameleon. Kim Pulse Lasers, huh? It's kind of bold. Ow. Actually getting some good hits in. But I am the king of laser. I will demonstrate this. Greetings. Salutations. Alright. Uh -huh. What do we got back here? A Jaeger mech. Ooh, you're going to explode. You don't know it yet, but you will. You're a Jaeger mech. You're about to have an ammunition explosion. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, and then it comes down. See, I'm going to try to get this guy in the back. You don't want to shoot your guy in the front if you can, but remember the Chaparral also has an SRM-6. Always remember you got other options. Oh, got him. Excellent. Excellent. Now he falls down. Oh yeah, looks like the bribe did work. I was wrong. It just took a round for them to move off the field. They left. They were like, fuck, man, that's nice. All right, we're out. And they just walk away. Remember, with a gun, you can rob a bank. With a bank, you can rob the world. Plan accordingly. Okay, I missed the Jaeger mech. But I'm going to beat him to death. You're going to get erbied. Yeah, let's... Start shooting that Jaeger mech. I'm gonna have the er, or the uh, Hunchback run up there and just beat the piss out of him. If he doesn't get good hits on me, I'm going up there. And that chameleon is dangerous. Oh, he's circled. Oh man, he had a chance to shoot the uh, Hunchback in the back and he didn't. What a weirdo! All right, well that's fine. You are now going to fight multiple Urban Max while I get up here and shoot that Aber that Jaeger Mac to death. Precise strike. There we go. Hi. How's it going? A few rounds of this, and you're gonna wish you had stayed in bed. All right, let's get up here and show what point blank Chaparral Wow can do. No arrow four. We're gonna do a precise strike. I'm gonna cut through them. Yep, yep, XL crit. A few more of those and we'll see a fireball. Stack pull gonna happen. There we go. There you go. Done and done. Looks like I just got a chameleon. Wonder if I'll be able to take the Jaeger mech, though I probably would take the Chameleon over the Jaeger mech because this is a little more specialized. However, this is a laser Jaeger. Interesting machine. All right, so let's get up here with the uh, urban mech and make a pow pow, shall we? Ooh, nice, nice. Good solid hit with the Irby there. Precise strike, let's hit it again. Another solid hit. Ooh. Nice. All right, infinity, moving up. Uh-huh. Precise strike, and light it up. Go, go, go. You're not that tough, are you? Nope, gyrojet 20 destroyed. Excellent. Now I won't have to fight that as a surprise point blank. And let's now disarm you. Are you ready, kids? Looks like he's not. He's like, uh, please go away. And I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen. I think today's the day you die. Chaparral's rolling in with SRM6s. We're just going to do it to you. He's feeling stressed, you know? Where is he going? Oh, wow, pulse lasers, huh? Okay, yeah. Got a beat on him. Order. Let's keep swinging. Engaging. Get urban mech He's like, no, please, don't tell my mom I died to urban mechs. 
Say the cleaners did it. Reporting critical hit. Well, those are binary lasers. No wonder he has a limited rate of fire. And he's probably cooking himself. Well, he's disarmed now. And here comes missiles. Give him that bit of business. Oh, man. Fuel cell engine. This is not a good one. All right, let's finish him off. Night, night. Time to die. Please explode. There you go. Fall down. That's all of them. Good shooting. Yeah, I got lucky. There's every chance that they could have just wiped the floor with me. That's what I love about Battletech, is it they it typically will just come down to roll some dice. Uh-oh, this exploded. Uh-oh, that exploded. And then you just start screaming. When you hear there's a duel in the Battletech community between two really good builds or two really good players, everyone starts to kind of gather around and wants to know what happened. How did the fight end? Most people are very, very curious on fight outcomes. So if you hear that, oh yeah, this guy with a clan lance took it versus this guy with Comstar Company, you start going, yeah, yeah, okay, what happened? How'd it go? People want to know those things. People really love hearing about battle reports in the Battletech community. I've read a enormous number of them. Part of my thesis on the Charger, believe it or not, was based on that. I know that the Charger has a reputation at least a little bit in lore, but then the reality of the machine I took from people playing it in tabletop. I said this is the reflection of its true capabilities, and I found out in the right hands. It throws hands. And some people don't like that as a lens, but I think that's more real than just an arbitrary sentence or two. Okay, let's get into storage. We can make a chameleon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. See, that's a periphery one, and that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to make it a little better. So we're going to strip equip all them chemical weapons out of there. And that's a prototype XL engine. Oh, God. No wonder we're in trouble. That is going to be nasty. And let's take those out, and those, those out, and those out, and those out. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, choices, choices. Lasers, and lasers, and lasers, and lasers. You know, I could make another hunchback more or less. That wouldn't be bad at all. Do I have any AMSs? No. What about max armor? Okay. Armored to the gills. Excellent. Let's see about internals. Uh, more heat sinks. More heat sinks. More heat sinks. More heat sinks. If I remove the XL engine, all right, all right, that's fine. Remove, okay, slightly there. Almost there. Good enough. All right. Boop, there we go. We got something. All right, now we can wait for our repairs and stuff to continue. We have more than enough money. Excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine. Don't worry. We keep scraping the surface, but we don't fall through. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's go into engineering. And let's get this now. Right. More tech points. We need them. And then we'll do more mech bays. Not really. Prime. Oh, yeah, we could afford that. And then we could get recreation and medical and training and all that. Because we need the beta pod. We need more med points badly. Uh, that is going to be one of our big, big sore spots. Okie dokie. Let's see. Assassinate somebody, huh? Uh huh. All right. Sure. I'll assassinate local pirates. I'm here for salvage, but you knew that already. Dida, I'm going to let you get some of your uh, brains back in your head. 
All right, I don't have to take all Irbys now. I'm going to take the one missile Irby just as mobile fire support, and we will take our Tonks, and yeah. Now, ideally, I'm going to make this 4P a monster 4P by getting enough Clanner ER medium lasers and replacing them one to one. And uh, I'll put double heat sinks in it. And I will up-armor the shit out of it with heavy armor. And I am going to make a monstrous Franken-4P disco murder machine. Which I think speaks to the thesis of it. Swaybacks should be outlandish, crazy, and just as dangerous as an orthodox machine. And I understand a lot of Swaybacks fall into the whole, you know, any other mech category. Where you go, why does this have... An eclectic mix of who gives a fuck. And some mechs are like that. Some are just, you got weapons for each range bracket. You have an LRM, you have a laser, you have an auto cannon. I don't really care for it. I want shit that hits hard, does well, and has that explosive capability of flattening things. I want a hunchback to be like dropping a sledgehammer on a soup cracker. That's what a hunchback is at its core. It is raw destructive force, and it may not be long for this world, but it is good enough for now. Sure, there are better medium mechs. I agree. Like, if you need a, a good do-everything medium mech, Centurion is pretty much top of that list. Wow, my guys were very rotoscope glowy there for a second. Oh, Falconer. All right. Yeah. All right, we're going to fight the enemy in the fog of Knife Fight City. Destroy pirate propagandist, enemy forces, death's consort's lance, and avoid... The... That's not going to happen. Please avoid collateral damage. Have you seen our company? We're just like, wow, do our guns work? Shoots random building. Yep. Right, I'm going to send that Sentinel forward with the MRM-30. And if I can find an MRM-40, I'll put that in the Sentinel. And I'll just use it as a fast mover. Having my over-armored chameleon get up there. Alright, what do we got? A locust coming up, huh? Alright, let's bully the locust. Alright. Now, they said I should destroy very few structures. I don't think that those monuments are structures, so I'm going to start shooting artillery immediately. I don't think that... Yeah, those aren't... Those aren't struck... Yeah, okay, we're good. Those monuments are not... No, we don't have to... Okay. Yeah, see? See, it's all good. Those monuments don't count toward my count. They're like, what structure? No, no, those buildings, like residential buildings? Sure, I'm not going to shoot into those. I'm not a monster, but you have two statues of birds here, right? I don't think anyone's going to miss those. I don't think anyone's going to go, that man destroyed our birds, therefore I have to rebel. You know, I have some bad PTSD from fighting Jake Falcon. My guys started shooting at the birds to make me feel better. Please don't punish my boys for trying to help me out. That's a lot of missiles. So do you think they have a guy up on one of these roofs with binoculars telling who blows up what building to know where to send bills? All right, I'm going to let the Irby get in on this. 5.8% chance, you mean fire immediately. I'm just going to keep pelting this guy and let him know, hey, I see you, I don't like you, and I'm going to hit you with a hammer. Oh, he's hiding by the buildings, that coward. Can't keep her steady. Oh, please fall over. Please. One of you is going to fall over. I think he just did. I'm receiving you. you Got to be careful on pavement in Battletech. You can fall over. Let's see. 
It's an urban mech. It fell over. It's an R-29. Interesting. All right, well, let's just blow it up, shall we? No. Damn. They're moving up with the Nerby. That's interesting. Flood of missiles. Yes, I see you have missiles. I have a hunchback, and these are the streets. I will fight you. I am the Ayatollah of rock and roll. I am the master of disaster. My thesis is doom, and I pronounce it upon you. Ooh, yeah! Snap into a locust and suck the marrow out. Please don't. That's probably very bad for you. That whole eat bugs thing. Uh, that, no. I didn't claw my way to the top of the food chain to eat insects. Alright, that locust has got bits missing. And he, worse, he stepped away from national monuments, which means I'm just going to start swinging a bigger ordinance at them. Hi, I'm a chaparral artillery tank. Oops. Alright, so that's one building down. Let's move the not a hunchback chameleon up. Let's see what we got. Uh, locust, uh huh. A primitive trooper, alright, and then the urban mech. Alright, let's see if we can't hit this locust and kill it. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. That urban mech is going to get up and have a bad time. I don't know who that is in the back. But I'm probably going to kill them too. Okay, vehicle coming in. What do we got? Please not a demolisher. Please not a typhoon. Please not an SRM carrier. Please none of those things specifically. Okay, that locust is coming up. To miss. Bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it goes. Oh, man. All right. Oh, you're different. A little bit of fire. Okay. Yeah, it is. All right. What's back here? Who's this guy? That's what I want to know. He's probably got the nicer machine. Oh, what was that? It was a blur. Oh, a galleon. Alright. I mean, that's not a lot of heavy bang-bang, but okay. That's not a lot of money. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Have fun, boys. We're pulling out. Well, just bribe him. Order? Why not? Goodbye, Locust. Got it. Is that a javelin? All right. That's interesting. Is that my target? Nope. My target is still not here yet. Watch him have a marauder too. Ugh. That'd be horrifying. Alright, Sentinel. MRM the Locust, please. And some of the concrete, I guess. Gotta help that roadworks department find their budget. One of the Irbies will finish it off. Oh, and theirs has stood up. He's like, boy, that was a good nap. Oh. Alright. That was something. Alright, and let's go ahead and circle around with the chameleon. And let's do, uh, just finish the locust off. Blow up. Thank you. Anime down. Anime down? 
Hello, Urban Meg. I'm the king of the street. Oh, that was that was definitely cool. Oops. That wasn't like necessary, but it was very cool. I'm gonna move the chaparral forward, not use the arrow four, uh, and I'm gonna try to finish the urban mech off. Engine crit, not a great crit to get. Another one of those might be fortuitous here. Let's go ahead and try it again. Oh man, one more urban mech in the back. Slowly letting loose uh, LRMs. They just keep finding LRM-15 come in from somewhere, and they have no idea what it is. The patient urban mech. Oh, hell yeah, engine destroyed. Three salvageable parts. Another urban mech if I wanted. Which I don't at this point, but work with what you've got. That's some salvage, and salvage is money. Javelin coming on up. Ow. That is a lot of ow. Javelins and Kentaros you have to watch out for. They love to pop up behind you and uh, sandpaper your butt. All right. Ah, uh, the flamethrower. Well, it's now time to introduce you to Rocket Fun. Or MRMs, rather. Let's do this. Goodbye. Very unsteady after taking a million rounds of the phase. Alright, I'm gonna let the uh I'm gonna let my boys finish him off at point blank. Oh yeah. All I have to do is get him through into that side torso. I've already removed the arm. And for those of you who don't play tabletop, let me explain. If you do damage to an arm, or any part of a mech, and that part is already destroyed, damage from that side then spills over into the adjacent cell. So, you remove the arm, it starts damaging the torso, it starts, you remove that torso, it starts damaging the center. So, that's why you focus a side down. You want to core these things out. You want to, you want to bite the center out of them. All right, 33% chance across the board? No, I disagree. I keep shooting buildings. That's an oops, you know. I, I don't mean to. Later on, I'll just indiscriminately artillery everything, but for this moment, it's me trying not to lose money and become known as a horrible war criminal. <laughs> Which happens, I guess, but yeah. Good time to be, uh, good time to be in the home renovation market. Location confirmed. Engaging target. Actuator destroyed. Yeah, another good tap and that javelin is going to fall down. Hi there. Sorry building behind you. Can you imagine driving down this road and hitting this bumpy bit, you know? You're like, all right, I got to take the bus to work. <laughs> Just driving down a stairs. That would be not fun. The inner sphere is truly a miserable place. All right, let's hit that javelin. Oh, wow. What a nice explosion. All right, so where's the bad guy? He is still hiding way in the back. All right. What is it already? 
Good question. Get that urban mech a little farther forward. Not really. Mm. Sentinel, yes. Let's get going. Now, where is the bad guy so I can break his legs in half? What do you want? All right, move forward. Got it, got it, got it. Ready for orders. Got it. Doing scouting with the chaparrals because they're actually fast enough to run. Waiting for orders. Well, in theory. All right, that last derby is just going to scoot and bring up the rear. Commander? He's a slow guy. Don't see the bad guy yet. He's over here now. Order. Must not destroy city. Yes. On my way, Commander. Yes, Commander. All right, let's get going. On the move. Come on, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Got a beat on him. Yeah, Commander. Oh, there's that Irvy. Slowly making its way to the front. Getting them participation ribbons for the conflict. Oh, yeah. He's just roaming around back here. He's doing that sad Pablo Escobar wonder. All right, come on. Where are they? Chaparral's move forward. Let's do it. Come on, Irby. You got it. Where are they? I've got my fast movers up front. Hopefully gonna find out where these guys are. They're right over here. They're not moving too terribly fast, so I'm hoping they have something big enough worth stealing. Let's move. That is my hope. Pulling off. What is it already? On my way. All right. Uh huh. There he is. No tonnage on it yet. Let's make some predictions. I'll say it's a medium mag because I'm being hopeful that I can steal it. Yes, Commander. With my luck, though, it won't be. And it'll be like, ah, yes, here's a light mag with an internal combustion engine. It's powered by an enormous V8. And you're like, oh, god damn it. All right, uh-huh. Yes. Moving. I wonder how many cars we've destroyed just stopping down the road. Do you think if you just have, like, a car you want to get rid of, you hear that there's a mech fight going down, you just try to park it on a main street in the middle of the street, and you're like, oh no! The mech warriors are here. Hope they don't destroy my piece of shit. I mean, my very nice car that has no scratches on it and low miles. 
I'm not suggesting that everyone in the Battletech universe is into insurance fraud, but I think with the dangers of this world being what they are, most people would be. Alright, demon. Let's get running. Alright, let's move. Alright. He's staying on his side of the uh, office buildings here. Yep, he does. Oh. Yep. It's not moving that far. Yes. Alright, let's get running. Unknown mech. We got nothing. Alright, Chameleon, you're first to make contact. Please not a light mech. Please something fun. What do we got? Oh, an excavator mech. Why? I mean, he's got a thumper, but... Ugh. Alright, well... They are pirates. Well, what did I expect? Alright, let's get down here and ruin this guy. I could at least put a long tom on there, maybe. Yeah, alright. It's not it's not a total loss. I, I could put some really dumb stuff on it. I can get some weapons that don't make sense. Put them together, have some fun. The urban mech is slowly getting into range. You got missiles from downtown. Wow. <laughs> Every time I see a bus like this, you know, I just think, is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. All right, we're gonna we're gonna kill this guy the next turn. Once all these people get into range, it's on. It is on like Donkey Kong. Here we go. Burn them. Let's cut these people down. That rear armor is a fun place to shoot. It's where most people don't have a lot of armor. Oops, okay. They're gonna probably need new air conditioning. Kinda shooting the roof a bit. Cut them down. No, he's not. He's going to break, you mean. Alright, Urban Mech taking all four feet forward and then more missiles. Come on, Irby. Come on, Irby. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in the power of derp. I'm here. You can do it. Can MRM 30 time. Oh, yeah. Hit. Yep. Go us. Mission successful. Mission successful. All right, what's next? Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Ammo explodes. Don't have too much of it. What? Safety? I don't like that word. It makes me scared. Okay, what do we got? Ferrofibrous stuff, uh, oh, thumper, oh, fast cam, shape charge stuff, blah, and excavator mech parts. We'll just take all the crap and sell it. These are parts for mechs that I don't want, and we'll just put them on the black market and hope somebody doesn't start something stupid with it. But that's not my problem. I'll be leaving this planet soon enough. I'm helping. All right. At any rate, thank you guys for tuning in, and I appreciate you guys supporting me. It's been a fun ride being on YouTube for as long as I have. 
and why you have a lot of choices in what you watch. The fact that you show up and watch this casual moron bumble his way through games is humbling. Stay safe and take care of each other. See you next time. Beautiful land, and as mustered in order before you I stand to march off to war and to die if I must, and to fight like a bastard in this you must trust. As, as the years, years pass along, you will see what it's worth, bearing bodies and moving to another earth. I fear not the low bear, what happens to me? Just as long as my Van Zandt is finally free Just as long as old Van Zandt will remember me Set a course to our neighbors or anywhere new To a place where I can stand alongside the view Of the bravest we have, though we are not the best I'll wager we'll pass our most ultimate test As the mayhem will follow what we do today For all of our orders are morally gray I fear not the low bear what happens to me As long as my Tanzant is finally free For as long as old Tanzant will remember me with whatever they have left on hand and again we'll rise up to defend our land though, though the Van Zandt militia is always at war though we never quite know what we are fighting for I fear not the low pair what happens to me as long as my Van Zandt is finally free for as long as old Van Zandt will remember me But if you feel the call and are willing to sign, you will find that you place your life down on that line. Surrender is never a tactic we use, for our cockpits are lacking an ejection fuse. I fear not the low bear, what happens to me? As long as my Van Zandt is finally free, just as long as my homeland will remember me.